install the competitive GUI that I use and uh, the guy who installs it, I don't even know how to say his name, but SBDDL, SBDDLE, he is German, so I'm going to show you guys how to install it real quick. So you go to his website, which is just, I'll provide the link below, um, or you can find it on my stream, and you just click the 1.2.3, which is the most recent HUD. It's green, indicating that it's good for all the leagues, ESL, ESCA, SIVO, etc., um, once you get here, it's not like the previous versions where you have to download a uh, a ratio. It's completely set already, and you adjust every module with x and y coordinates. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do that later. So for now, you just download it, um, and then you can just extract it wherever. So for this, I will show you guys how to do it real quick. So I'll put it on my desktop real quick. That way I can just show you guys pretty easily. So once you download it, you can just extract it here. 7 zip extract here. And it gives you the Steam folder. Um, you can go into the Steam folder, um, just like that, open it up. And then you can open up your actual Steam folder right next to it. You just go down Steam, Steam Apps, Common, CSGO, um, and then you get into this folder with CFG resource etc so you go into this folder that you just downloaded and go all the way through to the resources and to the flash files and you can just copy and paste all of the flash files over um, into your own resource and flash and then you hit copy and replace and you're gonna wanna replace all of them uh, and then after that it's gonna ask you if you wanna replace like 13 or 14 files you're gonna wanna replace all of them uh, after that, you take the CFG folder, uh, you go in here, get the competitive HUD CFG file, and you're going to paste that into your CFG folder. Um, and it'll ask you if you want to overwrite it. Like, or It won't ask you if you want to overwrite it, actually. I just already have it in here, so it'll ask me. Um, I'm not going to do that because I've already set mine up with the coordinates. So once you get that, it should be installed. All you'll have to do is open up your game, like so. Um and it's gonna change your menu a little bit um, this is normal this is how it's supposed to look and then if you go in game it'll change your in-game as well um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to change around the modules because in the beginning it's gonna look a little different so as soon as my game loads up I'll show you guys how to do that we will defeat the Mercedes. So in the beginning, you'll see that it looks a little bit different. Hold on, MP. There you go. So in the beginning, you'll see that it looks a little bit different. Mine is already pre-configured with the guns um, on the bottom section. Here, I'll take my webcam off so that everyone can see it. Um, you can see that my guns are already in the bottom section. And you can see that the bomb is already in a different section as well. Um, as soon as you get in game the the first time though your gun module will be all the way up near your radar and your bomb and defuse kit module will be at the bottom near ammo so to change that you can just go I'm gonna alt tab and show you guys what to do you just alt tab and you go into your competitive HUD and you're gonna see this all you'll have to do is change the coordinates this is in German so a lot of you English people won't understand what it's saying but it's basically <clears throat> just a graph of x and y coordinates of where you want what so on a 1920 by 1080 resolution um, these would be the coordinates to get your bomb and your defuse kit to show up underneath your money um, this is just the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate the x and y zero points are going to be all the way at the bottom right so that should give you an idea of where you want to go um, and then after that you just kind of can tweak everything to your liking. So on 1920 by 1080, 1444 is kind of like right on the edge for your weapons module. Um, it'll put it right right there where it's supposed to be in the old ones. And then on the new one, uh, and then 500 is the height. So that will keep it uh, not overlapping your armor. It won't overlap like your bomb icon, anything like that. Um, and like the reason I'm s explaining this is because I couldn't figure out how to get the coordinates to work 
for the longest time. So you can just mess around with them and see where you like them, and you can pretty much move everything around. So just uh, yeah, this is 1920 by 1080. And the other thing to note is that if you change your HUD scaling, my HUD scaling is the default, which is 0.95. If you change it at all, um, it's gonna it's gonna change where everything is placed. So if I change my HUD scaling to like 0.85. Everything is all like different. You can't see my uh, you can't see my weapons module anymore. The bomb moved more towards the middle, so <coughs> you'll just have to change that accordingly. But if you use the default, it should all show up fine. Um, and you'll also have to keep in mind that if you change your HUD scaling, you have to reload the you have to reload the CFG for the HUD competitive HUD. But it's pretty straightforward. I'll upload like some common values. It's all going to depend on your resolution though. Um, 1920 by 1080 is pretty straightforward. Um, to get your bomb in the defuse kit in the default spots it's minus 1250 and minus uh, 300 and then for the weapons module which everyone is complaining about because it starts all the way up near the radar um, like 1440 or 1450 is all the way along the right edge and then 500 is above your ammo so that should uh that should give you a good starting point you can change your player time and count so that's this is going to be the round counter up top that shows how many players are alive and it's going to show um it's pretty much going to show how many players are alive the round count time left how much health your teammates have that's going to be these two um and then <coughs> the radar location and the time icon are gonna be if you go in game the time icon can be separated from how many people are alive so you can pretty much change everything you want here um, it's a little confusing at first but then it gets it gets easier yeah and you can just hit escape and it'll refresh the HUD um, but make sure that when you put in your values in game make sure that they save to your config otherwise you're gonna have to do that every single time so yeah that's just like an easy way to set up the HUD and Hopefully it's not as confusing as most people think. It's actually pretty fucking easy. Excuse my language. But um, yeah, that's how you install it. And it's a lot better, in my opinion, than the other one. Um, than like 1.22 because it shows the round time um, and it shows the round count. The other one didn't show the round count. So you can see um, exactly what round it is without pressing tab. You pretty much never have to press tab in the middle of a game otherwise, other, other than to see the money. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, a lot of people were asking me how to configure it, so I just figured I would let you guys know. And I'll probably highlight this and upload it to YouTube later so that people can see. But yeah, these are some examples. Like, this is just how to get them default. I didn't really mess with anything else. If I wanted to move the players to the bottom, I could do that, but I prefer it at the top. Um, so yeah, that's just that's how you do that.